The owners of the Return to Nature funeral home, John and Carrie Hufford, have now been hit with federal charges for defrauding families and the U.S. government. Cardio 13's Tyler Cunnington was there in Denver as the couple had their first federal court appearance. Tyler, what's the latest with that investigation? Yeah, Heather, John and Carrie now face over a dozen federal wire fraud charges. The court documents we got today claim the two knowingly defrauded families within their funeral home business, but they also filed false paperwork to get hundreds of thousands of dollars in COVID relief money from the U.S. government, and then they used that to go and make their own personal expenses. I'm just really thrilled that that it's moving forward and now they can start answering for some of their financial crimes in addition to their criminal actions. Families whose loved ones were left to decompose in a funeral home owned by John and Carrie Halford are elated to see the couple facing a new legal battle. 15 counts of federal wire fraud related charges. They need to answer for what they've done um, all the way around, not just to the families and not for our loved ones, but also for stealing and taking COVID relief money. Court documents allege the couple falsified information to apply for three separate small business administration loans for COVID relief, totaling over $880,000, while also spending nearly $130,000 they made off of grieving families. In my mind, that's where they belong. They belong in prison and out of the public and out of society. In court on Monday, the two arrived in plain clothes, wearing shackles as they were read their rights. The prosecution argued that John and Carrie are a flight risk due to their mounting legal troubles, including over 260 state felony charges. Now, the threat of federal charges and the sentences that come with them has families optimistic. Hopefully that coupled with the federal charges will be enough to ensure that they're gone for a while. Now a judge ordered that John and Carrie remain in custody until Thursday, where they will appear again here in federal court. Reporting live here in Denver, Tyler Cunnington, Cardio 13 Investigates. Tyler, thanks for that.